Happy New Year. Uh, Am I still allowed to say Happy New Year mid-Jan? Probably not, but Happy New Year nonetheless. Uh, First, let me give you a sit rep of where I am. Sorry, I've not uploaded any videos for a couple of months. Okay, all right, I'm recording. So what is it, Tracy? Um, It's our, well, last few seconds in this house. This is it. End of an era. We've been busy, we moved house. Recently, we moved from the Greater London area, which was perfect for running because of the Thames Path. Uh, And now we've moved to the Detectorist country, as I call it. If you Google the Detectorists on BBC Two, you'll see what I mean. Anything? Fuck all. Basically, it means that I've now exchanged consistent footpaths along the River Thames for really, really muddy fields and footpaths, especially this time of year. I also joined a fitness gym, a well-known chain just over two months ago now. gym life and it's all a bit novel at the moment so if you followed my fitness and running journey in the past uh, I'm sure you'll like my future videos well I hope so anyway a friend of mine is a competition level weightlifter okay so so this is 20 kg is it 60 and this is 60 20 60 kg So just up to your waist? Yep. And when he found out I'd joined a gym, he very kindly offered to show me the ropes in his gym setup. I can do 320. You can do 320 kg? I can then. Yeah. Jesus. Deadlift is notorious for fucking people up. <laughs> is this a good idea? <laughs> no, but it's good if, you, if you've got someone to show you. Okay. But, um, Doing it wrong can be like horrific. Yeah. So, shins on the bar. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Grip the seat side. There, there. And you want to think about pushing your legs through the floor, lifting up, looking up, boom, boom. Okay. To the waist. Okay. You don't want to do this, like that. Right. That'll do your back. Crane it. Like that. Straight back, look up, boom. Straight up, okay. Yeah. All right, what's this way? 30. 30, all right. Yeah, so. Right, so up my shins. Yep. Up your shins, but it's also got to come up your thighs as well. Okay, okay. So scrape it up your body, basically. Yeah, it's not bad. Don't shrug, though. What you want to emphasize is this, yeah? When you grab the bar, see how my back is? Yeah. You want to pull the bar, and you want your back straight. Okay. And then lift. So this here, shoulders are back, that's tight. Now up, pull it in, 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 in. That's it. Without a little shrug at the top. Okay, yeah. Don't need that. Okay, I'm with you. Keep it there. Don't let it hang, yeah. but don't shrug it. And keep that back nice and tight. Feel that back tight before you pull. And think of pushing your legs through the floor as well. This usually takes months yeah. to master. Yeah. So don't be too hard on yourself. No, no, no. Get your back nice and tight first. That's it. Now up. Good. Oh, yeah. Still hunching. Instead of thinking of Lifting like that. Think of if I do nothing but push my feet through the floor, yeah, that happens. And then I just, yeah. Do you get what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Deep breath, chest up, into your body. That ain't bad at all. And down, down as we said before, yeah? That's not bad. That's really not bad. That's good. All if right. you go to the gym, you do 60k, yeah. and you do sets of fours or fives like that, yeah. and you keep them like that, provided you don't start going, bang, bang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you wanna, this. Yeah. 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 If I was you, I'd do one rep, put it down, like that, 
Ja. Ro oh gav, sæt op igen. Det var ikke oh. det. Få et der. Yeah. You get brave on. You get a fucking brave Yeah, I can feel it now. Tell ya. Yeah. Send your video on, dude. Can you do it now? You was about to do something, I, I interrupted you. I'll oh, shoot the things. Yeah. I don't hurt, don't hurt yourself. very grateful for the pointers. I'm looking forward to losing weight and getting stronger. I'm not looking to gain lots of muscle mass, but the expert tutorial from him was uh, was very useful. Uh, every year in January, I make a New Year's resolution video. I've done so for the past few years. And for me, a resolution needs to be a good challenge, something you can really get your teeth stuck into, something that's achievable, uh, measurable, et cetera, et cetera. But most importantly, it improves you as a person. This is gonna be, I suppose, my New Year's resolution video. Uh, it's been a few months since I finished the London Marathon. My first challenge is gonna be the 100 mile training week, which is what I'm training for at the moment. I've given myself about 20 weeks to build up to it. Um, 100 miles in a week. The furthest I've ever run is 63 miles in a week. So this is gonna be a real, real challenge. And, that, and I found that really, really hard. Last year's ResVid was my 100 miles in seven days challenge, which I completed last year. I did have other things I said I'd do, but moving house got in the way of them. So I'd rather look forward than back and I don't wanna make them excuses. The 100 miles in seven days was a huge achievement for me. I'm limping, I can sit rep on the foot. The toe isn't getting any better with the fact, oh, I just forgot my sunglasses. Positive now, so this is day seven. This is the last day. I've only got eight miles. I've got my music, my other power beats, ran out of battery, forgot to charge them. Looking forward to this. Day seven of a hundred flipping miles. hundred miles in a week. hundred miles in seven days. Right, let's do this. Another running ambition ticked off my running bucket list. The good news is that I have no excuses for this year. So this year's res challenge is drum roll um i intend to run my 5k in under 30 minutes challenge basically uh, it means that i want to run a 5k park run in under half an hour this doesn't sound like a huge challenge but it's not a 100k ultra Do your feet hurt yeah i'm in quite considerable pain oh yeah you've got a blister on your heel yeah i've got two on, on, i've got two on there's that one as well i'm so tired it was at this point I realised I didn't think I could finish 60 miles. So far, I've walked 40 miles. This is the furthest by far I've ever walked. Or even a London marathon. All of which are available to watch on my channel. Uh, I can't believe I winked then. But the sub... F oh, phone's ringing. But the sub 30 minute 5K is a really good challenge for me. Running 5K over a park run terrain in under 30 minutes is my Everest at the moment. When I've done it, I'll find my new Everest. Two years ago, I couldn't run a 5K without stopping, let alone at any kind of decent pace. I haven't weighed myself yet. I will do soon in a future video. To run my park run in just under 30 minutes, I'll have to set off and maintain a 9.39 minute mile or six minute kilometer pace. 
throughout the entire run. I've never been able to get close to this. My current park run PB is just over 32 minutes. That's a 10, 32 minute mile or six 40 minute kilometer pace. There's a park run that runs 5K every Saturday. So today is a Saturday and I thought I'd give it a go. My first ever park run. Malden Promenade Park Park Run. Pur, 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 pur. Park Run. Thank you. That's good. You made it. Okay, thanks. So it's a few hours later and I've had my results emailed to me. Uh, as they said, I've got them here. I thought I'd quickly just cover it off on, on camera. This was the 402nd Park Run event at Malden. It's officially my Park Run PB and I finished it in 33 minutes, which isn't fast. I came in the last half as expected and out of 225 official finishers, I was 168th. Um, I was the 92nd male. I don't know how many men ran, it doesn't say. And uh, I was sixth in my age group. So I'm not sure how many men or women ran in my age group, but that's my official park run PB. It was good. Shaving an extra minute and seven seconds per mile or 40 seconds per K is not as easy as it sounds. For a six foot two large bloke like me, it's currently nearly impossible. I've tried several times now, which is why the, this is the perfect challenge for me for the next few months. A challenge like this doesn't cost anything except the gym, gym membership, which is entirely optional. You can practice in your local park. It's not life sacrificing or overwhelming like a marathon or ultra. And for me, at my current running fitness ability, it's just as hard. If you're not a runner, go and run 5K for fun and see if you can run it in under 30 minutes. Obviously, if you are a runner, this is literally a walk or a run in the park for you. If you want to try it, download the Nike running app, which is what I use, or Strava, which is what a lot of other runners use. So in my effort to achieve this, I'll be hitting that gym to lose fat and gain strength in the right places. I need to lose weight as running this heavy makes it ridiculously hard. When my friends and family currently ask me what my target weight is, I now answer the level that allows me to run a park run in just under 30 minutes. Then I'll be happy and maybe I'll sign up for an, another ridiculously hard ultra challenge. Uh, you know, watch this space. I just want to end this video by saying thanks for watching this video. Thanks for sticking with my channel. Uh, I've got more videos on the way and I'd love to see you leave some comments below. I'd love to read what, what you're doing this year, what's going to push you and force you out of your comfort zones. Um, I always respond and it'll be good to have a chat about that. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching and see you in the next vid. Cheers.